My name is Jack Baca and I'm Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Outreach Foundation, headquartered in Franklin, Tennessee. I bring you Advent greetings and I trust that this video finds you and your loved ones safe and well in this very difficult season. Just over a year ago, I traveled with a group from the Outreach Foundation as we visited first in Beirut, Lebanon, and then spent significant time in Iraq, first in the cities of Kirkuk and Erbil. Perhaps the most poignant day of our trip, though, was spent in Mosul. Several years earlier, Mosul had been overrun by ISIS forces, and many of the churches and mosques of Mosul had been destroyed. We were there to visit the historic Presbyterian Church, and we were accompanied by a few of the members of that church who years ago had fled for their own safety. But now we were there to investigate and to pray with them about how we might help in rebuilding not only the building of the church, but the congregation as well. When I stepped out of our vehicle after we had traveled through the bombed out city for well over an hour, I had an overwhelming feeling of being both privileged and called, privileged to be part of what God might be doing there and called to be part of what God was doing there. We shared the Lord's Supper together in that bombed out sanctuary in the midst of that place that had been surrounded by so much darkness, we, along with faithful brothers and sisters, brought the light of Christ back into that place. I'm happy to report that the church is now being rebuilt. And I hope that you might become part of that effort as well as many other efforts around the world that are given the opportunity through the work of the Outreach Foundation. I would ask that you consider making a special end-of-the-year gift to our work. If not in the Middle East, then perhaps in Venezuela or Brazil or Cuba, perhaps in China, maybe South Sudan or Ethiopia or Kenya. The fact is that we celebrate the light of Christ that comes into the world. We celebrate that particularly in this Advent season. We celebrate with brothers and sisters who are partners in faith and partners in sharing the gospel with us all around the world. We here in the United States actually have it a little easier than most, and it's a privilege that the Lord gives us to be involved with others as they struggle in very, very difficult and dark circumstances. Would you join with me and hundreds and hundreds of other faithful Christians and congregations as we support those who most need our help? I can think of no better way to celebrate the season than by partnering with those around the world who also are faithful followers of Jesus. Whether it's in Mosul or Beirut or Damascus, the light of Christ shines because of how we respond to what God has done in our lives. Merry Christmas.